Wait, uh, there's another new one. Ali Jafa Al Wafi. Can you show me who are you and introduce yourself, please? I think like it's like new newcomer. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Hello. Okay. Uh, the first come. Can you hear my voice? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So introduce yourself, please. Oh uh, yeah, I am Ali Dafa from what? I'm born in Timika. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. You born in Timika. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Oh, wow. And um, now you are studying in? I'm studying University Brawijaya, Brawijaya University oh. at Malang. Mm -hmm. Majoring? What major? Uh, economics, finance, and banking. Ooh. Wow, oh, okay. Yes. Welcome, welcome to the club. Welcome okay. to uh, the club. Well, anyway, Ali, I'm from I'm from Papua as well. I'm from Biak, so that's oh, yeah. good. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, I'm from yeah. Rawijaya also. Oh yeah? Stop, stop it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> welcome okay, to the well, club. Well. Me too. Hello. Rawijaya. <laughs> Yay, Rawijaya. Nice to meet you guys. Okay, thank you so much, Ali Jaffa, for your time and for your participation uh, here today. So, first of all, I would like to say Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good, uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for giving me your time, your energy, your positive vibe that I always mention in every single uh, meeting for you. And today, we already get in Chapter 7. And the presenter will be, and this chapter will be presented by Kaisak Sam. Kaisak Sam, he would like to share to all of you uh, by using English language. It's okay. So, uh, if we would like to remember, if we would like to rewind for the chapter for the previous chapters, we already read, we already read a lot of things about the passion. The difference we also uh, understand how to define the purpose, practice, uh, perseverance, and the other thing that we can count that this is very important for us to grow in our to grow better. Yeah. So uh, today we would like to talk about what Kaisak today. We're gonna talk about practice. Today. Yes. That's so, gonna uh, be the last, chapter seven. Yeah, last week as uh Kak Sikuras already shared about um passion. So today we would like to talk about the practice. What makes me feel that the practice is very important for us or something like that. So guys, please listen carefully if you have something that you can discuss together with us after Kak Isak uh, already present from this kind of book club. Just share to us, okay? It's okay for you to just stay in Bahasa Indonesia or in English. Do not ever afraid, do not feel afraid, hesitate on your energy and potential because I do believe that you are very great. Thank you so much. Kak Isak, time is yours. You still mute your microphone. So uh, I hope that you guys can see my screen right now. Is it clear? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So today, as you guys know, we're going to talk about practice. Uh, and this is the, chap uh, the chapter seven from uh, the book Angela Duckworth. Uh, but first of all, I would like to thank uh, Kak Deborah that has, you know, trusted me to present this chapter. And also, I found this chapter is very interesting. And I could say probably that for the most part of the chapters, this is one of the important chapters that we need to know because it's specifically talking about practice. Means that all of the theoretical, uh, you know, understanding that we have learned this far will be implemented in here and how we do it. This is the chapter that we'll talk about it, okay? So before we start to dive deep into uh, the topics, I want, I need actually two volunteers this, uh, to help me out with a quiz that I wanna do right now. It's not a, 
uh, quiz. It's just like, you know, a practice because we're talking about practice in this chapter. So I would need to uh, volunteers, anybody wants to uh, participate, in, just raise your hand. I let Ricard to participate because she never participated in anything. Oh, well, let me, let me say this. I want one person who, uh, who actually does reading for fun. And the second one should be the one that actually joining this club because he or she wants to improve uh, his or read, her reading skills or her reading competence, whatever. Just one person from the one that loves reading and the other one just like, you know, trying to learn to love reading. Anybody, two volunteers? Can I try? Yes, sure. Do you, do you a person who likes to read or what? <laughs> I hope, I hope I love okay. to read. That's why I need All this right. clip to make me, uh, yeah, to make me All more. Right. Okay, then, so what should I do? You're Kaisak. Kaisak, sorry, Kaisak. I, I can't hear you. The microphone is... So uh, you can, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Kaisak. Okay, so you can, you can use the, uh, the passage in the right side. Okay. And you can start anytime you're ready. I just read it? Yeah, just read it out loud for everybody okay. to hear. Okay. Presentation are communication tools that can be used as to demonstration, lectures, speech, speeches, reports, and more. It is mostly presented before an audience. It serves a variety of purpose, making presentations powerful tools for convincing and teaching. Okay, thank you, Rizka. Now I need another person as well. Uh, anybody who wants to volunteer, just uh, another one. Uh, can I try it? Yes, please. Uh, thank you. Yes, right, right. Uh, yeah. Pre presentation or communication tools that can be used as a demonstration, lecture, speech, reports, and more. It's mostly presented before an audience. It serves a variety of purpose, making presentation powerful tools for confidence and teaching. All right. Thank you so much for Ali and Rizka who have. Uh, participated on this reading test and now I want anybody whoever wants to uh, who wants to give them the facts I, I want all of you to give your opinions like whoever uh, I can give probably just limited to three people who wants to give a feedback to or both of them what do you think about their reading or what what do you think about how they do the readings this is a practice so we, we will do the little practice here anybody okay so their opinion <laughs> All right, Ivan. Okay, so I would like to give a comment for two of you that maybe because you read like the way textual, it's not about how the way you can say, uh, how you can enjoy the way you're reading. I mean, like if you yeah, enjoy the way you read, maybe you have like intonation, you have like dialogue, you also have understand about how to give stress and that kind of a statement. So the, the point is, um, sometimes if you read about the textual thing, uh, we would like to get more difficult to understand to understand those points. Okay. All right. Thank you. Is that for apply for both of them, right? So, anybody else who wants to give any feedback for uh, each of them? Just anybody. Any volunteers? Okay, Just I'll one person like, and then we can go. Who is speaking? Okay. All right, okay, Said. Said to present. Said, are you there? I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, so please go on. Oh, there is a kind of music here, so you say, is it okay, right? Uh, for me, both of the volunteers are good at presenting the reading text here, and, but for some point, maybe um, there's still uh, the later one. Let's say. 
Do you need more coffee or mine? I need coffee ya, so uh, jadi lebih fokus gitu nanti. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, thank you so much for uh, Faid and um, uh, Ivan yang udah kasih feedback. Um, I want you both to remember what you have given the feedback because this is going to be related to uh, what we are going to discuss as well as uh, the end of this, uh, you know, presentation. I would definitely ask back what possibly change in terms of your opinions and also Rizka and uh, um, Ali also will also, uh, you know, have an opportunity to also think about what the feedback have been given to both of you. All right. So today, actually in this chapter seven, there are two lessons from the experts that I want to highlight and I want to share with you all. Um, the lesson from the experts, there are two of them that are being discussed by Angela Duckworth. The first one was from Andres Eriksson. Um, he, are, I think he is a cognitive psychologist and he introduces what is known in this chapter as deliberate practice. And the second one is Mihaly. I will not pronounce the last name because I can't, it's difficult. So pardon me for that. Uh, but uh, Mihaly is also one of the psychologists and uh, she introduces uh, the uh, technique of, you know, of practice of being great is uh, as a flow uh, practice in here, which is a state of complete concentration. And we're gonna discuss deeper into each of them. So this one is the deliberate practice. Deliberate practice basically in terms of uh, Anders, Anders, uh, Andres Eriksson understanding is that there are no gains without pains, which is you know, famously said by Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of uh, the United States. And in this deliberate practice, it's actually uh, encourage us as a person to, if, you, if we want to improve our, let's say our competency, or uh, if we want to in here in this book, probably say, if we want to be a greater individual, we want to, you know, be good all the time, we want to advance all the time, or we want to grow, continuous growth. The first thing that we need to do in terms of deliberate practice is actually set a stretch of goal. What does it mean set a stretch of goal? Set a stretch of goal means that you have to set a goal that can be, that can be developed, that can be involved not something that's stagnant, not something that, for example, I want to be a public civil servant. Uh, be, becoming a public civil servant, if, if it is your end goal, then when you become a public civil servant, what's next, you don't know. So when you become a public civil servant, you stop there. You cannot evolve anymore. And that is not what means in here. It means like if you want to set a stretch of goal, means that something that you can always develop and that you can always evolve. For example, if we talk about content create, creation or if we talk about personal branding, you want to create a personal branding that actually can be involved. Yeah, can be evolved. Like if you want to do, if you want to talk, for example, if you want to focus on mental health, what kind of mental health that you want to focus on? If you want to focus on, for example, like uh, toxic masculinity, toxic masculinity should be an issue that can be talked continuously. So you have a room to always learn and to always grow. So that is the that is the meaning of set a stretch of goal. And the second one is 10,000 hour rule and the 10 year rule. What does it mean 10,000 hour rule and the 10 year rule? In here, the definition is actually, you have to do whatever you said you want to do. And you have to commit to it. There is a repetition in it. You have to do it. Like for example, in here, if you set up a goal, uh, at the end of the year, for example, next year, 2022, I, you want to be, uh, or you want, you want to get a 4.0 grade in class, for example, then what you need to do is you need to do the homeworks, you need to, you know, submit uh, the assignments on time, and you have to uh, ask the teachers or uh, the, the professors if there is any, you know, additional projects that you can take to add up to your grade. So you keep doing a repetition in it you keep doing uh, something to make you feel better and you have to find weaknesses in it. So if you find a weaknesses in it, then you will understand, oh, this part I need to change, this part I need to fix. And then you will thrive again, thriving to, to improve. 
So this is like one of the culture of, I think many of us in Indonesia that uh, you, we don't like to hear negative comments. We really don't like to hear it. And that is, that is why I asked the first time uh, to, you know, to both of you to do the reading and then someone judge you. Some people would not like to listen to a negative comments, but in this deliberate practice, what was suggested is once you, you know, once you harness one goal, you have to find for negative comments. And whenever they give you a negative feedback, you have to fix it or you have to find a way to, you know, to fix the problems. And in that way, you can learn something new from their mistakes and you can improve. So that's the point of doing the 10,000 hour rule and the 10 year rule. And the third, the third one is doing it in silence. And this is one that I just like, you know, talk to Ivan and um, uh, Riska that whenever you have a goal in this deliberate practice, it, they suggest you to do not tell it to anybody. Just try to keep it for yourself and do it in silence means like uh, doing it just because you want to do it. And you don't have to brag about it or you don't have to talk to the universe to know that you are trying to achieve something in your life you don't have to do that just make sure that you know what you want to do and just doing it uh you know uh continuously and the the fourth one is looking well this is the same that's looking for feedback that's like what once you do you done it you have to look for feedback the negative feedback immediately and if you have like positive feedback from the people do not focus on those positive feedbacks because doing for if you focus on positive feedback it not give they will not give you any any improvement in it because you already master it so what's the point of you you know listening to or be proud of, of positive feedbacks so that that that's basically what a deliberate practice saying in this uh in this chapter and the last one is refinement refinement is the same it's including review in it as well. You review what you can improve and then you're moving on. If you feel like whenever you set a goal and then that goal has been achieved, you want to you wanna like put it aside and you want to try something new. You want to uh, explore something new. That is the reason why in last week, in the last uh, book club, we learned about passion. We learned about interest, how you find interest. And this is the reason why when you uh, when you feel like you have achieved something and you feel like you are not growing anymore, that's probably a good sign for you to find something new. That's probably a better sign for you to like, you know, to try to uh, find a new interest, even if it is uh, like, it's interesting last week because I didn't have a chance to like give a comment, but it is very interesting when uh, someone says, um, my job is not, you know, a job that I want because it's not my passions, it's not my interest. It is interesting because, uh, most of the time we do not actually land on the on our dream job and most of the time also we do not realize that the dream job is still a job so it still need to be do like we still need to doing it and sometimes some people feel stuck whenever they uh, doing it continuously and re in repetitions and some people could could try like you know some bigger people like jeff jeff bezos like you know um they are they never like they are already rich but they never stop learning they never try something new they always try to you know to learn and to learn that's why you always see like billionaires they like to read more they like to read a lot of books within a year and they have a bunch of recommendation about books that you need to learn that's the reason why they you know uh, it's very important in deliberate practice to always improve yourself and that's probably the first one uh, about the deliberate practice. And this is the, actually the different side of deliberate practice because if, you, if we have talked that deliberate practice required effort, means that there is no uh, success without pains. In, in this one, it kind of it, it kinda explains in a different way. It says that flow uh, is a state of complete concentrations and flow actually happening in a high level performance means that like whenever you do or you how i put it like for example like if you are a musician if you if you are if you is a musician you do play guitar very expert for example if you are a guitarist you play guitar very very smoothly and very beautiful and you don't find any difficulty to play it and that is what uh um mihali explains in here when you have when you when you already master the skills you don't need pain 
to do that specific thing. You didn't. You do not like pain. You do not to do a lot of effort to just to you know to do what you love. And this is what we say. Like most of the time, we say it is something that I passionate about. So that's why I like to do it. And I don't. I don't feel any burden when I'm doing it. And that is the that is the uh, meaning of flow. That is the meaning of doing it because you're out of passion. So you don't have any problem doing it. And that's why the second one, it says about effortless. I think yet there, are, there is not a lot of effort that you need to do. There, there is not a lot of pain that you need to get through to do, the, to do whatever you're passionate about, to do whatever you have interest about. And that is the reason why in here, Mihaly says that the roots of knowledge, if you, if you guys have heard about this, uh, the 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 uh, the actual statement was actually the roots of knowledge is bitter and the fruits are is sweet like it says that in an original way but in here I try to uh, rephrase it to you know to match what uh, Mihaly says that the roots of knowledge are not always bitter yet the fruits are still sweet it means that when you do when you do something that you love it doesn't require pain in it. Why uh, some people have to go through some pain in order to get to what they want is that because probably whatever they, they're passionate about requires uh, you know, great amount of efforts to achieve it. For example, if you are an athlete of, of uh, if you're a swimmer, for example, you have to always practice how to swim properly until you can you know, be the Olympic. It is the same. So you have to go through a lot of pain in order to be a Olympic and Olympic swimmers. In here, the flow says that, well, if you want to be a great swimmer, you don't have to go through all of the pain if you really love that, you know, if you really love to be a swimmer. So that is the difference or that is, that is the contrast between um, what Mihaly says in here as, um, you know, as a, if, if you want to be a great a greater individual, you don't have to feel you, you don't have to feel pain. You don't have to go through pain so, uh, like that. And that is the definition of uh, flow or a state of complete concentration uh, by Mihaly. And of course, you know Angela Duckworth is trying to give us the best understanding of how to be a greater individual, and that is the reason why. Uh, she actually didn't agree or disagree to each of these opinions, and uh, she actually comes up with a suggestion. And these are uh, her suggestions. That the first one is, of course, you have to find zero hour of deliberate practice. What does it mean, a zero hour of deliberate practice? It means that you have to actually do the practice. The the I will, how could I, how I put it, like you have to find a goal, like certain goals and then practice it like smartly. You're doing it smartly. It means that if you find like there is a mistake or weaknesses that you can improve, you have to improve it, which is, I think she takes it out of the first, uh, the first uh, practice strategy prov uh, provided by Anderson, right? That you have to do the zero hour of deliberate practice means that, you know, you just need to do the, you, you just need to show up and do the homework, harness the weaknesses. That's why it says harness the weaknesses means that you have to be better at what you are very bad at. So if you don't know how to play guitar, then go ahead and play guitar, practice all the time, and then you will be a guitarist, for example. And the second one, uh, she suggests that the power of daily routines are very important. Whenever you see a great people, even in Indonesia, like Najwa Shihab and uh, some others, you know, famous and smart people in Indonesia, they actually, if you if you look up to their, you know, daily habits, actually they do have a daily habits that is very manageable, that is very unlisted. So they do not just like you know wake up in the morning and do not know what they are doing, because they actually set up you know a amount of like schedules that they have to go through in a daily basis like even for example even as simple as you know wake up in the morning I need to you know drink a cup of coffee and then probably read a book before open my social media that is also a routine that you know can affect your productivity uh, during the during the day or even uh, during a year if you know if you think about your 
you know, yearly goal in here. And the third one is actually, she suggests that change the way you experience it means that you have to like, in here I put it, uh, behavior results in experience, means that make it habits, means that if you want to, you know, if you want to be good at something, if you want to be grittier at something, then you have to make it as, ha as a habit, a habit that you will continuously doing it. Because once you make something, like make a culture of, uh, you know, whatever interest that you like to do it, at the end of the day, it will become something simple to do. If you like, for example, if you don't know how to read properly using punctuations and you do not care about that, but whenever you start to, you know, learn from YouTube, for example, opening up YouTube and try to take out of some notes in there and how to be a good reader at the end of these, like, for example, uh, when you set a goal for six months and you want to be a good reader, within that six, six months, I think you will start to see improvement if you do it, you know, continuously as what is suggested by Angela Duckworth in here. So that's actually pretty much the suggestion that I like, you know, take it out of the entire uh, seven, uh, the, the, the entire chapter seven in here. And I put it in here, the last one, the moral lesson that I personally take it out of this chapter. And I wanna share with you all because I think this is very strong statement uh, that is made by Angela Duckworth, which is, she said, embarrassment, fear, and shame are the products of social prejudices that are effective to hinder growth. Means that we as a human being, when we grew up as a baby, like when we was, was, were born as a baby, our parents already put this kind of values that you have to be embarrassed if you do a mistake. You have to fear of making mistakes. You have to be ashamed if you make a mistake. And in here, Angela said, those make you learn nothing from what you have done this far. That is the reason why when you grow older, it's getting difficult for you to accept when someone make a mistake. You said, you are not grown enough if you make a simple mistake. But in here, Angela Duckworth wants to suggest us actually that if you make a mistake, you have to learn from that mistake and growing up. And that's basically what the moral lesson from this chapter seven. So that's actually the end of our entire session tonight. I hope that I didn't take a long of time to discuss this, but um, now I want to actually know, like what have you guys learned from this, you know, from this very short time of my presentation and what do you think, especially for um, you know, people who have uh, providing feedbacks and people who actually read the first sentence. If you guys have any thoughts, anybody, this is your time. Anyway, thank you. I'll uh, give it back to Ivan. Okay, thank you so much, Kaisa, for the very outstanding presentation from you. So before we jump into the discussion, I would like to introduce uh, our newcomer. She is Titis. Titis, could you have, do you have like a one minute to share or to introduce yourself, please? Okay, wait. Okay, well, Titis, time is yours. Introduce okay. yourself. Okay, thank you for the time, Evan. And hello, everybody. My name is Titi Swidiani. You can call me this. Um, I'm so happy because I can join in this team. And mm -hmm. I hope that I can get a lot of friends here and also a lot of new experience and actually I would like, uh, I want to make my English fluently, but I'm not so, I need a partner so I can, uh, so I join this team and glad to see you all. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Kati. Thank you for joining with us, Titis. So probably, well, you know, are you in Jakarta, right? Yeah. 
I mean, Jakarta. Working in, working in startup company. Um, insurance. Oh, insurance. But I, okay. But I, I have already resigned. Mm -hmm. I okay, have already okay. resigned for one so month. Where, yeah. So where are you from, actually? I'm from Central Java, exactly in oh. Dieng. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Dieng. Oh, okay. okay, I'm so excited to be talking about the Dieng itself. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, for your we will visit your home one day. Okay, <laughs> of course. I'll okay, welcome uh, you all. <laughs> okay, welcome, uh, Titis, uh, for being our newcomer. So, Ada Ali Java sama Titis uh, hari ini yang baru join di book club kita. Welcome. So yeah, thank you. Uh, next, guys, about our discussion is uh, is a we are talking about practice, and all of us have a similar problem and issue actually about a consistency. If we are talking about practice, it's very easy actually. We can manage our uh, our daily habits, and then after a week or after two weeks. We lost that kind of the plan, and after that, uh, we also have a goal like to be. I'm sorry, Uh, we have a goal to be slim, like we have to run in two kilometers, and like Krista also. Hey, hey, like hey! What is shaming? <laughs> it only happened in one week, uh, but unfortunately, after that, we lost also. So it's all about consistency, actually. So guys, do you? Do you have if you have a similar issue and maybe you have a solution for that? Could you please tell us about your solution, your best solution to be on track, to be on on track again? Okay, time is yours. I think this is the thing that I would like to discuss more with Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> you can sign up to my personal branding. I'll teach you to be consistent. <laughs> You can follow Kaisa uh, Instagram and then just ask him how to build like a uh, body goals like him, Mas Luka, and we will wait for that. I think yeah, yeah. I think everyone has a similar problem, right? About the consistency itself when we are yeah. trying to practice something. Right? Uh, it's actually totally difficult to be uh, a person who have a very good consistency, strong strong intention and anything lah. maybe sometimes it's like Krista also he uh, he she has like sparkling ideas and she uh, she really wants to start anything from the beginning but maybe after that she loves so I don't know like what happened actually with us <laughs> uh, so I, I, I will talk about this, about this from a psychological point of view okay, okay. Um, not, not from my point of view um, I think, no, I think from several articles that I already read about it, this is more about, I don't want to say it's normal, but it's like a part of life. The thing is, I mean, like uh, we... we I, don't, I, don't, I can't say that it's fine to be like a fluke to this, but life isn't isn't about it's it's not that strict to to achieve our goals but the good thing is when we can enjoy the ride when we try to achieve those goals as long as we don't lose a hope and as long as we still remember our goals um, it's still fine just don't give up that's that's all the things that uh that if i can write from all of this article they say that yeah this is just part of life and then this is just like uh one of the things that maybe we have to face in this reality because sometimes our emotion is um, you know when we try to achieve something there are so many so many factors that will affect like um uh, our parents or financial and then the, our relationship 
our environment, our mental health, our physical health, all of those things include at one place and then that will yeah. and then that will um, affect on how do we want to pursue something or how do we decide to do something. That's why there are no the best, I don't know. Everyone have a different have a different way to solve this situation. Some of them they just say like, okay, if I lost the track, I just need me time and then uh, talk to myself and then try to recover something or anything else. And then some of them uh, say that, oh, I need to find my mentor or my supervisor or someone who I really, uh, I mean, like uh, someone who always helped me or something like that. So um, all of us with all these differences, differentiety of the people and like i mean individual differences uh we have our own style to solve it and the key is we have to totally understand who we are what we want what is our weakness what is our strength and that will lead us to still achieve our goals that's it thank you okay that's cool so it's back to the chapter two that we always uh stayed about the never give up attitude right so whatever you if whatever it takes you have to uh, come back with that kind of never give up never give up attitude so now i'm really curious actually about what the moral lesson that kaisa already shared in the last um, in the last presentation it's about embarrassment fear and uh, and and the other thing and most of us still fighting for those things actually so how do we handle those things because it's like a strong uh, what can i say like strong wall for us it's like a border if we would like to move forward it's okay we understand that we can move forward but once again say, uh, facing failure and facing people's Commands and ev judgment and everything is actually is actually difficult for us to accept well. So how do we handle about that thing if we would like to uh, practice more and more? Okay, Kaisa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's. Oh, which one, Kaisa first? Zamnia, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, for me, uh, <coughs> when uh, uh, yeah, uh, so, sorry if my speaking is not really well, but uh, I keep trying. So okay, I hope okay, you are good. <laughs> yeah. uh, for me, uh, uh, based on based on my experience, I have to understand my value first. So maybe. Uh, Riska uh, know about self efficacy self efficacy right yeah so we have, uh, yeah we have uh, we have understand who we are uh, uh, yesterday i remember i watch uh, in, in tdx uh, sometimes uh, what people judge about us is just a part of us not not a whole of us right so uh, uh it's uh it's important that we have to understand who we are uh, inside and out uh so we uh, when we are understand our value whatever the uh people judgment uh mm -hmm. as long as we we know that we are not losing the track uh, yeah. i think that uh, doesn't matter so uh, and i want to share a little bit uh, myself about consistency yeah sure uh, based on my uh, based on my experience <laughs> uh, i'm working uh, i've working for productivity in my company uh, mm -hmm. to setting kpi and i mm -hmm. remember what can be improved what can be measured can be improved so uh, sometimes uh, we have to measuring something uh, if we want to improve it uh, for example uh, maybe for uh, consistency of workouts maybe yeah. uh, for me 
uh, I like to do yoga uh, daily, so I just install a yoga application. There is a daily activity, so so just uh, every uh, every day I just check uh, check uh, like check in. So do the task. So uh, uh, when there is some tools that we can use, uh, we can improve uh, our uh, we we can strict and uh, consistency do it. Uh, not only that. Uh, for example, I want to start journaling, but mm -hmm. actually, <laughs> uh, I feel that it's uh, hard for me to be consistent. So mm -hmm. I just, uh, yeah, yeah, I just uh, looking for tools uh, in in Play Store, and there is uh, there is a I found a good tools that uh, always give me insight how uh, what kind of uh, inspiration what can or what kind of a gratitude things that i should uh, jot down in my journal and it works for me so maybe uh, yeah i agree that uh, something that can be measured can be improved so uh, and if we want to improving something in ourselves we have to uh, have some tools to yeah to sometimes uh, the tools uh, measurement is that doesn't mean about a number and something. For example, maybe Mas Evan, uh, you understand. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, for the first time, I have uh, I took uh, English class with you. Uh, mm -hmm. You you know I'm not this fluent, right? Uh, it's mm -hmm. really poor, but I I uh, I keep trying. So uh, I uh, and Mas uh, I remember uh, Mas Evan. Uh, uh, said to me uh, that you have to have a role model right so i just mm -hmm. compare myself with uh, the role model uh, whoever it uh, whoever he he or she is but uh, sometimes uh, the, uh, she is my role model sometimes she is so i just find who, uh, who is the best uh, role model for me so uh, it's kind of a uh, measurement of uh, or it's kind of tools for me, like Ruby. Uh, I don't know, maybe one of you are following Thursday day, 30 days of lunch. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember that Ruby, uh, uh, she, uh, he said that when he starting uh, the 30 days of lunch, uh, he just uh, set the goal. So if he, uh, uh, the goal is to make 30, uh, 30 podcasts, if he no, no achieve it, uh, uh, for example, uh, how to say, that's, uh, that's uh, something that careful be measured. So he just do the best to get the, uh, how to say, uh, the goal that he set up. And you know, uh, 30 days of lunch is more than 30. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Lah. So maybe, uh, so I really agree. Some, uh, if you want to improve something, you have to know how to measure. Uh, you, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Zamia, yeah, thanks. That's cool. So guys, uh, it's really released because we all we have to understand about our limit. We have to understand more about our limits actually, because we most of people always say that um, push your limits here, yeah, push your limits. It's okay actually to say push your limits, but you have to be more understand about your limit first before you push that. Yeah. And the second one, uh, Zamia also share of uh, share with us about the goal setting. If you understand about the goal setting we really sure that if you are not on the track, you will be uh, written back in the track. So this is the point. You have to understand how to define about the goal and also dream because dream and goal are totally different. Yeah? Raisa, uh, any something that you want to add? Your microphone is Actually, Right. Actually, I totally agree with what Zamnia was just saying about how you need to love yourself before you're doing anything else. If you want to achieve your life, you have to understand who you are. And that is a very important point. Uh, but I think um, in terms of, uh, you know, the, the shamefulness or the feeling of embarrassment that we were discussing earlier, 
the best like you know my let, let me just little you, you know give you a little bit storyline in here that my entire life actually have been about uh competing all the time i participated in like a competition since i was like i don't know like seven years old or eight, eight years old i think at the time and i learned this far that the best way for you to actually learn and making mistakes and you do not have to feel bored you know have a problem with it is when you are participating in a competition that is one way for you to learn when you make mistakes if you participate in competition you make mistakes nobody will judge you because it's a competition so you feel you are free to do that now we are living in a digital era where every information available out there the first thing that we need to know is are we in the right circle are we accepting the right information and that is the reason why, like, you know, one of our campaign at Seven Clouds, actually Digital Literacy, the campaign is actually there, is that how you utilize all of these resources for your benefits, for your goal, to focus on achieving your goals. And we do not realize that we always accepting a lot of information that we do not need to achieve our goal but we keep opening into that information and that is really wrong. So that is why I think we have to again, understand who we are, what our purpose in life, what our goal is, and just focus on that. Put yourself in the right circle is very important. Put yourself, like for example, if you're joining right now, you, if you cannot join any competitions, find a community like this, that you can you know, practice your English and making mistakes and nobody will judge you. And that is the right, you know, circle that you have to find out there. So that's probably from, from me. I'll be back to Ivan if you have any else to, you know, add into it. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I couldn't agree more for that. So, teman-teman uh, uh, semua, terima kasih buat waktunya malam hari ini yang sudah menyempatkan waktu di chat dan Stefan. Udah waktunya Kak Isak untuk memilih salah satu yang akan mempresentasikan di chapter ke-8 minggu depan. Sebelumnya I, I'm not I don't really know like who haven't and who have presented. So, you yeah, know, yeah, I'll just randomly pick up ya. Kalau misalkan udah yeah, berarti yeah. nanti Ivan bisa change. I think I want to try or I want to try. <laughs> I want to uh, I want to give the next uh, presentation to Dan, I think Daniel Okay. Okay, the next presentation chapter 8, Dereng Daniel Nozakirin. Wow, really great. Okay, thank you so much teman-teman buat uh, hari ini. Bisa minta tolong untuk on cam sebentar saja untuk keperluan konten. Buat teman-teman semua yang mau nge uh, mau share uh, booklet kita, jangan lupa untuk tag di Seven Plus ID ya. Itu adalah gerakan terbaru kita Our Movement yang akan membantu teman-teman semua untuk mendapatkan digital literasi secara baik dan benar gitu. Oke. Okay. So, oke, okay, wait a minute. Oke, okay, sure. <laughs> Daniel, chapter 8 ya. Nanti kalau ada apa-apa, nanti kita tanya ke teman-teman. Mau tanya ke Kak Isa, Kak Isa, mau tanya ke Mas Luka, dan lain sebagainya. Kak Pahit, semua bisa ditanyain. Nah, tinggal chat aja di uh, di WA, oke? Okay? Halo, Kak Fitra, Kak Fit, oke. Okay. Kak Boya mau kemana sih? Mas Ari hati-hati ya ke Melabo. Uh, hari ini dia mau balik ke Melabo. Jadi hati-hati di perjalanan. Dia lagi ke Melabo memang? Iya, uh, hati-hati di perjalanan. Ari jangan sambil nyetir. Kesa minyak terawat sih kak. Kau kan dia lagi jalan. Hari. Enggak. Uh, naik, naik, naik travel loh dia, naik transport. travel loh dia. Oh ya udah. Oh okay. naik travel, oke okay, lah, oke okay, lah. Okay. Skin, skin par lah dia sekarang. Oke, okay, so cheers. Kita pay cheers, cheers. Banyak senyum cantik, senyum ganteng. Oke okay, semuanya, that's all. Thank you so much. Oke okay, once more. Oke okay, then, say once more, once more. Oke, okay. okay then thank you so much for your time, energy, and positive vibe as I always mention. Thank you day. semuanya. Sampai jumpa teman -teman besok Daniel. Semua masih bisa datang thank you Kak Titis. Thank you semuanya. Okay, See you next time. Ali, 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 
Kak Ibu. Yes, thank you, let's do it, guys. Janganlah dulu, aku mau nanya. Thank you, Kak Ibu. Bye, Kak Nurul. Eh, Nurul, makasih ya. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Thank you, Mas. Thank you, Nurul. Thank you, semuanya. Thank you, Kak Ibu. Kak Ibu, thank you.